It's my great pleasure to, and honor to welcome you all to our first annual uh, Global Economic Forum today, uh, organized by the St. Mary's Graduate Business Alumni Council and the School of Economics and Business Administration. We are very um, honored to have such a distinguished, world-class group of experts in business and economics as our panelists today. Uh, needless to say, the U.S. and world economy is at a crossroads, and we see that every day when we uh, put on our TVs or read the newspaper. As we emerge from the deepest recession uh, since the Great Depression, which has now been called the Great Recession, um, the world order seems to be changing, uh, and the locus of economic activity seems to be inexorably shifting uh, to other parts of the globe. At home here in the U.S., anxiety and angst uh, is combined uh, with, uh, to create a general feeling of malaise, uh, great uncertainty, and the nagging doubt that the American dream might be at an end. So today we're going to find out whether that indeed is the case. Um, uh, the Great Recession seems to be like no other recession that we've experienced in the post-war period. Uh, the, therefore, the St. Mary's Graduate Business Alumni Council decided to put together this evening to bring three prominent experts who have thought about these questions and work in the trenches as well as in the, uh, in the uh, headquarters of the, uh, of the uh, campaigns that are trying to uh, change the world. So um, we decided to bring them together to try to answer the question of whether this, whether this is the decline of the West, and to give it a, a, a title that would be uh, a certainly worth answering, and the rise of the rest. So that's what we're going to look at. And so um, uh, get ready for what I think is going to be an exciting intellectual tour de force about the global economy and whether the rise of the rest will cause the decline of the West. <laughs> All right.